As you guys can see, we are playing Pokemon Sun on our iPhone at 90 FPS. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Atrix here. Right here is my brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max 256 GB variant in natural titanium, and this is 3D simulation test on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It might seem weird to you guys if you don't know 3D simulation is now possible on iOS devices. If you are new to this topic then you can watch the video which I'll put on the iCard above. Basically there is an open source software known as Emu 3DS which you can sideload on your iPhone to emulate 3DS games like that's so crazy bro. Today we'll be checking out its performance, we'll see how well can iPhone 15 Pro Max A17 Pro Bionic chipset can perform, can perform because it has two more GPU cores. Uh, 8 GB of RAM which has never been seen before in any kind of Apple's Pro variants. With that being said, let's start with today's video. Alright guys, right here is the Emu 3DS which I was talking about. Let's open it. On this emulator, in library imported section, you will see Pokemon Sun. Now if we just go ahead and head on over to the settings option, you will see a ton of new settings. If you have watched my previous Emu 3DS videos, then you guys know that most of the settings uh, were not working previously and there was this gamepad option in between which has been finally fixed. It was quite annoying to be honest. But anyways, enable JIT, make sure to disable this option. Make sure to enable HLA because this is the one important setting which you need to enable. Use new 3DS also enable it. Enable logging, make sure to disable this option. A synchronous shader compilation, keep it enabled. But if your game gives you a black screen issue, then you can disable it. Or you might indeed face some uh, graphical issues or performance slowdowns. In some cases, not in most cases, in most cases it will improve your performance. Anyways, a synchronous uh, presentation has been turned on. Enable hardware shaders has also been turned on. Enable vSync is enabled, but we'll disable vSync cause we need to see if we get more than 60 FPS. Accurate shader multiplication has been turned on. Make sure to turn this off if you guys want better performance. So we'll be keeping it off. Resolution is the important part. Now currently, the developer recommends you to emulate 3DS games in 400p resolution. But today, as you know, iPhone 15 Pro Max Pro, two more GPU cores, will go with the 1200p resolution. Portrait layout, portrait, okay, landscape layout is landscape. In renderer, swap screen, upright screen, there are a lot of options. Uh, but you don't really need to mess with any of these. We set our resolution, we disabled shaders, accurate multiplication, and we sync. Let's try out our Pokemon Sun game now. Uh, I haven't tried this out before, so it will be first time for me too. And just take a look at these on-screen touch controls provided by the developers. They are brand new, modified, but uh, for now I can't really see these options. So developer needs to add shadows as well on these controls. And at the top left side, you will be able to see that finally, 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 the developer has added an FPS bar and also CPU usage bar. So this emulator is now really very very productive to be honest let's just go ahead and tap on the a button and begin game now we'll turn uh, our screen to portrait because we can see these touch controls a bit better uh, there we go we have a message from professor kukui uh, by the way if you guys want me to test out more 3ds games on my iphone 15 pro max let me know in the comment section down below and if you guys haven't subscribed yet then be sure to hit that subscribe button we are uh, as of filming this video we are only 10 subscribers away from reaching 50k so by the time you see this video i might have already reached 50k subscribers so make sure to congratulate me for all the hard work that i have put in on my channel anyways we are not dropping below 60 fps which is a great thing uh, but there you go this texture issue is universal it will be fixed if you enable uh, accurate shader multiplication but as i mentioned before if you want better performance make sure to disable accurate shader multiplication anyways uh, i'll skip to the part when the game actually starts all right guys one thing which i noticed that's pretty interesting is the fact that during this cutscene i am literally getting more than uh, 80 fps that is 90 fps uh, and as you can see there are literally so minimal graphical issues that they are not even visible so probably no graphical issues whatsoever and no frame drops that's even more surprising because uh, with 3D simulation on Android even if it's way more optimized than on iOS it still has lot of stuttering issues lot of frame drops no matter if you try it on an Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor it, you will still face lot of lags but there we go our game is about to begin and still I don't really know if it's CPU usage or not but it's still showing 0% that's the most shocking part for me like seriously bro, are you so superior that you don't really need to use your GPU or CPU? 
There we go, the game is actually rendering 3D graphics and I am getting 90 FPS. What the actual heck is this, guys? 90 FPS 3DS emulation on iPhone. Never did I think before, but let's wait until the game actually starts. So there we go guys, our game has successfully started and we are still getting 90 FPS, not even 1% of the CPU or GPU is being used. I don't really know what does this meter actually measure and if I just go ahead and zoom in, you will see that the textures are looking way better than what it looks on an actual 3DS. So that's a plus point. We are not playing this game or emulating this game at 1x graphics resolution, we are emulating it at almost 2 to 3x graphics resolution. Alright guys, now we'll be leaving our house and checking out the rendering and frame drops. What happens after we exit our house? Will the game lag? Will the game crash? Or will it still continue to give 90 fps? And oh my god, this is insane bro. Stable 90 fps emulation on iPhone 15 Pro Max of 3DS games. So crazy bro, like there is literally zero frame drops, zero frame drops guys, this is super crazy. I have been making emulation videos since 2018 and never have I ever seen this much of amazing performance ever bro, ever. And I can tell you guys that the phone is heating up a little bit now. Uh, as I told you guys before, it's almost been 20 minutes since the game started actually uh, running on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. But nonetheless, it's not too hot, it's manageable but you will indeed feel it. So there you have it guys, let me know in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on iPhone 15 Pro Max 3D simulation. I'll see you guys next time, thanks for watching, goodbye.